Hello folks, it's Felix here, and I'm back. Whoa, it's been a long time. It's been 10 months already. Well, what a great way to say I'm back by beginning a new series, beginning a new life, beginning over. Okay, this new series is going to be called Challenge of the Week, as you might guess by watching the title. So, this is going to be a way to spark your interest back in Pro Cycling Manager if you lost it after the tour's over and everything's over and the Giro d'Italia is over now. So, well, it's going to be challenge of the week in Pro Cycling Manager. It's gonna be great and it's gonna be fun I think. It's gonna be a thing I'm gonna do every week, hence challenge of the week. And I think so far it's gonna be from Friday to Friday. Uh, you can look in the description. I'm, I am made up my mind in the description but right now I haven't. It's 6 o'clock and I just got home from the plane and I want to get this going because I've been thinking about this for a good 10 months now. So, if you want to be able, first of all, if you want to be able to join this competition you have to be able to record yourself playing. That's the whole point of the series. You have to send me a video of you playing, and then I'll show the rest of the world your skills. Okay, so you gotta have the DB called PCM Daily 2013 DB. That way, we all have the same stats. When nobody's cheating, cheating, nobody's having different stuff. It's all the same terms. So the best guy will be shown every week. Okay. You should be seeing right now points on your screen. Every week, first place will get 10 points, second place will get 5 points, and third place will get th 3 points. This will be added up every week. And I think until the Volta Espana ends, I'll be going that far. And when the Volta Espana ends, whoever has the most points will win a gift. And I have not decided what that gift is yet, but let's just say this, it's not cheap. And you know me, I, gi I give out. Oh, okay, that sounds really gay, but yeah. I give out. If I say, I... <laughs> that was wrong, yeah. It's great being bad, guys. Well, if I say I'll give you guys something, I'll give you guys something. I've given the Pro Cycle Magnet 2011 in the past, if I, s if I remember. Well, on to the challenge. Not to stay off topic, I tend to do that. I don't like doing post commentary, so I always do live commentary. Okay, the stage that you guys will be doing will be a Shiro Italia theme stage. Because it just ended and it was the most recent, it'll make you guys' memory the most recent. Let's find the stage. What? Which one was it? It is this one. Ponte di Lenco to Val Martello. Okay, you all know that Nibbly won this, so this will be called the Nibbly Challenge. You all know it's a great downhill. Okay. Let's see this. The point of this challenge is to be the fastest from this point of the mountain down to this. And I'll show you the terms. First of all, you gotta choose a Astana Pro Team. Because Nibali's on it, of course. So, you, you lose the challenge if you don't pick Astana. So, yeah. If you don't, that's kind of dumb. Just admitting it already. You can choose whatever you want. You just need to have Vincenzo Nibali on your team. I'm just going to choose the best mountain guys because I have a tactic for this one already. And I will not be competing in this because that would be kind of biased. Okay, so quickly explaining what I meant by being the fastest. Or the terms of this one. Okay, so you see Nibbly. He has to attack here. He cannot attack, he cannot attack sooner, not attack later. He has to attack when he crosses this line. See this invisible line? Yes, he has to attack. Then, when he gets down here and crosses this line, you will have to stop the time, and you'll have to chew, you have to, I'll show you when I get to that point. And to specify, Nibbly has to be the guy in the front of the race. He has to be the guy furthest ahead in the race for this to count. He cannot be the second guy, or the third guy, and then take down to the peloton. No, that doesn't count. He needs to be the guy in the front. So, what I'm, my tactic is, is to, Keep the pace, keep the peloton together until this climb comes, and then attack with Nibali. That's my tactic. And as I did by accident, I just broke the peloton. And if you do that, you can't count. You gotta be in the peloton when you attack. So right now, we gotta wait for the peloton. Okay, the peloton's back now, so now it counts again. So, the what I want from you, the video file that I want from you is from this point to this point. Nothing else. And then I'll show you how to time it. So this will be here where you start the video. This is where you start the video. Now you start recording and now, as soon, okay, now, invisible line, there, attack. Now you gotta attack and you gotta have attack. As soon as he gets away from the peloton, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna keep attacking. Okay, let's see what Nibbly can do. I'm gonna take the rest of my guys and I'm gonna take them out of the race. That way they don't intervene. 
Okay, let's see what Nibbly can do. Let's see what my time is going to be. And I'll probably s speed up the pace. Okay, so he's got 22 kilometers down the hill. Right now he's attacking pretty good. He's feeling good. He's got a minute down to the peloton. He's keep keeping doing good. He's still attacking. He's a beast. Now he's sitting down. Okay, so I'm going to go this. I'm going to do my attempt at this. Okay, so 15 kilometers down there. Now 12. It's getting close. I have two minutes down. Two minutes. Okay. And he's still got plenty of energy. I'm going to start setting up the pace even more. Okay. It's not even getting close to being a tough workout for Nibbly. He could have gone even faster. Five kilometers left. He's got to get up that lead. I don't think anyone could win with a three minute lead. Just telling you that. Okay. We're getting close. One kilometer. Okay. Now sprint to make it faster. As soon as you cross the line, you got to stop. So, th oh, that, he crossed the line. So, my time would be to the, you time Nibbly, then you time the f guy right behind him, which is Katano. 3 minutes and 14 seconds, that's my time. So now, you would stop the video, and then do whatever it says in the description. Thank you guys for watching, see if you can beat 3, 14, and if you guys compete, in the end, you might win a big prize. Thank you for watching.